All right, guys, it is time for a turbo test. We've got a new 62 millimeter turbocharger. I want to show you all about it. All right, guys, this is our new 62 millimeter S300 turbo. This is an, we're calling this our aggressor series. This is a S300 based turbo, and uh, I'm excited to tell you about it. So, first off, we sell a lot of K27 turbochargers. That's an upgrade for the HX35 on your second gen trucks. And it works really, really well. And it peaks out about 450-ish horsepower. That's, that's max. That's really pushing that thing hard. So really 400 is where it's comfortable. 450, really pushing that guy. And the next popular turbo, the next size up we sell, is the Borg Warner 362 SXE. And that's, that's a really good turbo. That moves a lot of air and makes a lot of power. It's a huge jump up from the K27. I was really looking for something in the middle of those two turbos. I wanted something to hopefully spool a little quicker than the 362 SXE and uh, was a little bit more budget friendly. So this is a very budget friendly turbo because it doesn't have all the gadgets and of the new turbos. For instance, this is a cast compressor wheel. It's not billet. Uh, for a lot of years, cast was the norm. Everything was cast. And in the past five years, now everything's gone to billet. Uh, not that the cast is bad. I mean, I've made lots of power with cast wheels and a lot of people have. So this is a fine wheel. Just saves you some costs there. Um, other things, this is a 65 millimeter turbine rather than the larger 68 millimeter turbine wheel. So with that little bit smaller turbine wheel, we're hoping to split up a little quicker. And overall, we were able to actually offer this turbo at the same price point as the K27. Now, you will have to buy a downpipe for this because it's a 4-inch outlet, but the turbo itself costs the same as the K27. This is not a brand new turbo in, in that it's a 62 millimeter paired with a 65 millimeter turbine wheel. That's been done for a long time. Uh, but this one comes with the SXE style cover and uh, it's very affordable. So we're excited to see how this thing does here. And we're actually going to put this on Meyer's little hooligan truck behind us. This is a little short bed, 12 valve. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty rowdy. And so before he had on a large turbine 64 millimeter in a 91.91 T4 housing. And we dropped down to this and so uh, let's get uh, Meyer in here and see what his take is on this turbo. All right, Meyer, you put this turbo on your truck. Walk us through the install real quick. Well, obviously, it's, it starts with taking the old turbo off. You got to get that shenanigans out of there. And then it's just really simple. You just bolt on the, uh, the, tur the turbine housing to the manifold, clock the center cartridge, right? Get the oil lines lined up and get those on there compressor, get that V band on the compressor on there, hook up your air intake. I mean, that's really as far as it, that's it's a really simple install. Now your truck already had a T4 outlet, right? Uh, no, no, it had a stock manifold with a T3 to T4 adapter. So yeah, we had to take that off there too. <laughs> right, but you had an HX40 downpipe already? Yeah. So for you, what, like an hour maybe? It was about an hour, yeah. Okay, very cool. Tell us your impressions of the turbo. You've been driving around for a couple of days. What do you think? Yeah. Um, so like Todd said, I came from a S364 big turbine, so it, it definitely spools a lot faster and it really makes the fun, the truck a lot funner to drive. Like just in town, you can, you can be kind of rowdy with it, like rowdier than you should be in town. Nice. What RPM does this thing really come alive? Um, it peak torque, like it's like 18 to 2000 where it really comes alive. And then, I mean, it pulls good all the way to like three grand is where it seems to do pretty well too. Which that could be valve springs too. Yes, that's true. We, just, we don't know about that. We have stuck valve springs, so that's that's very possible. Yeah. But While on a budget. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we need to get this in the dyno. Yeah. Any guesses? <laughs> so the goal here, I'm hoping for a 500 horsepower charger. I want something between the 450 of the K27, the, the 550 to 600 of the big 62. So somewhere around 5 to 525. Do you think it's going to do it? I think, so. pants. I think so. You think so? It, feels that good? It's, it feels pretty good. All right, let's strap on the dyno and let's, let's get it, it going. That's what it feels like. Wow, very much. <laughs> All right, Meyer, how fast does this thing spool up? All the fast. All the fast? Is it really fast? Like extremely fast. Like supercharger really fast. Supercharger fast? Faster than supercharger fast. 
That's really fast. I get spooled, just like not even with a truck, not even on. Not even on, turbo spooled. Turbo spooled. Like I'm reading on my boost cage. Whoa. Right now. I don't know, if I turn on the key, that thing would read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to do a real run now, guys. We're going to do a real run. So in this run, what are we? what's our RPM range? We're going to do from 20? No, we're, we're going to do 16 to, I think, 28. 1,600 RPM to 2,800 RPM. Got about a four, three, 4,000 pound load, which is an additional to give us a good mm-hmm. load. Should have no problem loading this thing. Yep. And uh, that'll give us a good number. So, okay, let's load it up and get her going. Do it. All right, so this did a little better than I expected. It actually peaked power is right here. And that is 330, 538 at 2,233 RPM. Excuse me, 2,237. Peak torque is uh, at 1,332 foot-pounds at 2,000 RPM. But the torque really got up to 1,300 foot-pounds down by 1,960 RPM, 1,970. So. This is actually better. I was hoping this turbo would be a 475 to 525. In fact, we got 538. It's a nice little bonus. We do have this truck tuned uh, fairly aggressively. I still think it's a very street-friendly tune, but we're at 24 degrees of timing, which is probably more than most people would run on the street. But truth be known, that's what Cummins put their Marine 370 engine at from the factory, 24 degrees. So it's not as scary as people think. But it is still pretty aggressive on the street, but Really, it works really well. I drove around with this. I've been hot rodding a little bit, and it's a rip on the street, and it really comes on hard, which you can see how quick the torque just flies up here. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the test of the new Aggressor Series 362. Uh, this is a 62-millimeter cast wheel turbo with a 65-millimeter turbine side. Um, <clears throat> I'm really happy with this turbo. I, I was really hoping to hit 525, so I'm pretty excited we got 538 out of this turbo. Um, Really, this is a great option for someone looking for around a 500 horsepower truck. If you're looking for 500 horsepower, the 362 SXE is probably a little overkill. You can save yourself, you know, four or five hundred dollars by going to this route. If 500 horsepower is your goal, 500 to 525. If you want more than that, you really should step up to the better or the bigger 363 with that larger 68 turbine wheel. 362 SXE with the larger 68 millimeter turbine wheel. So many numbers, man. You get them mixed up sometimes. Anyway, I'm really happy with this turbo. It works real good on the street. It's a ripper. It's super fun. And uh, yeah, anyway, please like this video if it was interesting to you. Give us a subscribe, and hopefully we can get this video in front of more people. And if you have any questions, call us here at the shop. We want to get the right turbo for you. And thanks a lot. We will see you next time.